guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is that second drugstore video that I promised you I would do and I will be doing way more because I have to say I really love doing all these drugstore videos for you guys. I feel like I have discovered so many fabulous products that are not expensive that I have been able to use and create like really glam looking makeup looks with. So I'm so excited for you to watch this tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys like this look. It is very bold and very glam and very vampy, but that's kind of what I was going for. And it is all using drugstore products. So I'm so excited. Before we get into the tutorial, as always, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, join the family, come on board. I post three times a week at least. Sometimes I post a little bit more, just depends on my mood. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to be notified each time I upload, just make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time I post so that you won't miss out and you can be the first to see it. So with that being said, if you guys want to see how I created this drugstore fall glam vampy makeup tutorial, then just keep watching. Hmm, my hair looks interesting, so we'll have to do that later, but I'm so excited about this look. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have already done my brows off camera to save time for the video, you know? I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Pencil, and then I used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer around to carve it out. And now we are ready to start our look. So I'm going to be doing my eyes first. I'm going to be actually putting foundation on the eyes to kind of prep it. I'm going to go with my Milani Concealer and Proof two-in-one foundation and concealer. I used this a while back, but I haven't used it in a while because the shade didn't really match me well, and it was the lightest shade that I saw at Walmart, so I just assumed that it was the lightest shade that they made, but turns out there's like three shades that they make lighter than that that I saw at Walmart last night, so I picked one up. I picked up the shade 00B Light, so hopefully this will work better than what I have. I'm excited to play with this foundation again because I remember really liking it, but I just haven't used it because the shade's kind of off. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to use a concealer brush to kind of put this on the lids. I think I might have put a little bit too much on, but that's okay. And I'm just going to like kind of put it everywhere, actually, all around the eye area, kind of in between the brows here, a little bit further. And then I have my little tiny Aesthetica Beauty Sponge that I love to use for concealer and for things like this. It just this helps so much to like really get in the hard to reach areas. So I'm just gonna blend it out with this. Um, I'm going to set that down with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the shade 001 Transparent. So I'm just going to dust this all over where we just put that foundation. And this will just create that really nice powdery base for the shadows to blend out over. I'm actually gonna start my eye look with a bronzer. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade 05 Soleil. I actually picked this up at Walmart last night as well. Really excited to use it in this look. I played around with it a little bit earlier today. So I'm just gonna take my little eyeshadow brush and this is going to be kind of our transition shape so I'm going to start to work this into the crease and I'm just going to work it back and forth until it's really diffused and really blended out it's a really pretty warm toned bronzer with some gold shimmer in it and I usually don't put shimmer through the crease but we're going to kind of break a couple makeup rules today <laughs> but I'm just kind of using circular motions and I'm not afraid to kind of bring it into the inner corner here what's left on the brush, and then as well as dragging it out this way. I just really want a more diffused look. Also, thank you guys so much for all of your love on my last drugstore video, my last video. I am so grateful that you guys like it so much, and I'm so excited and so ready to keep creating more affordable looks for you guys. I'm kind of on a mission right now. I'm kind of on a mission to find good, affordable products and to take those products that I trust and make really cool, really nice makeup looks that will last all day, that don't look cheap, that don't feel cheap, you know what I'm saying? Because that's been kind of my issue in the past is, you know, I find like a couple things at the drugstore that I feel like are really fabulous and then for some reason I felt like reusing them too many times would be annoying or not interesting and so I'm realizing that it's kind of better for me to like keep creating drugstore looks even if I'm using some of the same products because as long as they're good products, I feel like you guys won't mind Mind, you know, obviously I want to keep trying out new products as well But I want to make sure that I'm making looks that like are actually gonna look good all day You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is one of those looks that it's just gonna look good all day It's gonna look high-end, but it's not gonna be like expensive to create it. So 
I've been loving these mattes from L'Oreal. They're the like matte single eyeshadows. The Color Riche eyeshadow, this one's in the shade 306 Acromat. Acromat, maybe? I think it's Acromat. And I'm just gonna take this shade. It's a really cool, like rusty reddish color. And this is kind of gonna be an all over lid shade, even though we are gonna apply some different shadows on top. This will just create a really nice base for those shadows. It will also help the colors blend into the bronzer that we just applied. So I'm just putting this all over the lid. I'm not really being too careful about where I'm putting it. And then once you feel like you have the pigment pretty good on both eyes, just run your same brush that you used um, with the bronzer through the crease to blend the two shades. This has gotta be my favorite part of the eye look. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallics eyeshadow in the shade Brass Knuckles. You guys, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. They're so buttery. I just like to take my finger and I'm going to just start to apply most of the pigment on the inner third of the eye, or inner half, I guess I should say. But I start closer to the inner corner, and then I'm going to start to kind of pat it out so that it kind of diffuses over the entire eyelid. And then I'm actually going to lightly tap what's left on the finger really, really lightly, kind of above and up here. I know that's kind of like against the rules, but I feel like it looks really cool, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'm just really lightly tapping it though, so you have kind of like a gold sheen going on, and we will add some more depth in just a second. So don't worry if it looks kind of weird right now. It will look really cool once it's all put together. So I'm taking actually a clean brush with some of the Rimmel translucent powder. Just use whatever translucent powder you're using and I'm running over the top here so that it all looks a little more blended and there's no like patchy sections. Okay, so this is where we're gonna add a little more depth. I'm gonna take another one of those same matte singles from L'Oreal. This one's in the shade 308 Madison Avenue. I'm just gonna take that same brush we used on the shadow before and with this I'm gonna really start to add some depth. So I'm going to start here on the outer portion of the eye and just kind of work it in circular motions toward the lash line and then kind of work it up a little bit higher and into the crease a little bit. Kind of take your time with this shadow and just layer it. So just keep adding a little bit more and then of course after you can take your brush again and kind of blend through the crease. And then just, yeah, just keep working in layers until you get the right amount of color that you want, the right depth that you want. Again, don't be so concerned about the edge here. We'll clean that up with a makeup wipe in a second. So once you feel like you have it looking how you want, just take a makeup wipe. Mine's kind of dirty because I was swatching lipsticks with the same one, but I didn't want to waste it. So then you're just going to clean up underneath and take your finger and kind of use your fingernail to carve out a really nice sharp line or a clean line. This will just like totally fix any fallout that you had and it will make it look so clean. I love this trick. I'm just going to take my finger and kind of pat the line because I don't want a super harsh line going on here, but I do want a little bit of a, a shape going on, but I don't want it to be super harsh. I want it to be more smoked out and effortless and almost messy looking. Since this is a glam look, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black, and we're going to do a really nice wing. Well, you know those times when like you do your wing liner and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger? That's what happened. <laughs> And I think I'm just gonna just go with it, you know? I'm just gonna take my Milani um, Conceal and Perfect Foundation and Concealer in One. And we're gonna just put this all over the face. I'm using my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. And I feel like this foundation looks super light, but I did try it on earlier today to make sure that it worked. And it like, maybe once it dries down, I feel like it changes color slightly. It's still full coverage, I love it. And then I'm gonna put actually a tiny bit more on my hand. And I'm gonna take my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge and I'm just gonna dip that into onto the foundation of my hand and start to just work this into the skin. I'm just gonna kinda keep layering where I need a little more coverage with the brush and then um, going in with that sponge again. Since this is a concealer and foundation in one, I am going to kind of use it as a concealer. We'll see how I like it. I might add concealer on top, I don't know. I think I am gonna go into some concealer though, so I'm gonna take the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. Not as much because we did put quite a bit of foundation there. And let's put it down the center of the face just for fun. And this is where my little Aesthetica Beauty Sponge comes in handy. I'm just going to blend this out. I love it because I can get into these little corners here without messing up my eyeshadow and I just, I think it just blends out so nicely. I can also get right up against the wing here and not mess it up, love them. So now before anything sets, I'm gonna quickly take my Rimmel, uh, dropped it. I always drop stuff, I feel like. 
I'm gonna take the translucent powder again, the Stay Matte powder that we used before, and I'm just gonna set everything. Starting with the under eyes, because that's what seems to crease first. So I wanna make sure we lock that in before anything crazy happens. And then I'm gonna just take some of that same powder and kind of just pat it across the entire face. Those wings got way bigger than I had ever dreamed. <laughs> Let's finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take the Milani bronzer again on that same brush. And we're gonna use this underneath the lower lash line to start to define that. So next I'm gonna go into the, the second eyeshadow that we used, which was the Acromat eyeshadow from L'Oreal. And I'm just gonna take this, that same brush we used earlier, and just kind of work this closer to the lash line, but along the entire lash line. Then I'm gonna go into our metallic shade, Brass Knuckles, love this by the way. Um, I'm just gonna take that on a little brush and start to work that more towards the inner third like we did on the upper lash line, or on the upper lid, I always do that. And then just kind of brush it out eventually along the entire lash line, but mainly we're focusing it right about here and taking what's left on the brush and lightly dusting it out. So now I'm gonna take a little angled brush and I'm gonna go into the darkest shade that we use to define like the outer parts of the top lid. This eyeshadow is called Madison Avenue. I'm just gonna take an angled brush with this and I really want to define the outer third of the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start by putting it there and then I'm gonna kind of run this shade right underneath the black wing that we have going on here. I just feel like that makes a really cool detail. Can you guys see that, like how it kind of connects? I really like how that looks. So then I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and kind of start to drag it inward. But we're gonna mainly keep the darkest parts out to the outside. Okay, so I wanted to add something to the waterline to make it look really dramatic. So I'm gonna go in with ColourPop's Cream Gel Liner in the shade Overboard. It's a really cool bronzy shade, which I feel like goes really well with this fall glam look. So I'm just gonna pop that in the waterline. So now we're gonna go ham with the mascara. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, my current favorite from the drugstore. And I'm gonna do several coats of this. I want it to be super lashy. Let's bronze up the skin. This has to be my favorite part of makeup application. So I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer first, just to kind of give a general like shape to the face because this is matte, but we will go in with another bronzer in a second. So I'm taking my KKW Beauty Brush. I've been loving this for bronzer. And I'm just gonna start to pat this all over the face to start to bring a little bit of structure back in. Don't forget the hairline, that's what makes it really natural, is when you kind of really work it into the hairline. Just going all around the perimeter of the face, along the jawline, down the neck. I'm also gonna take that bronzer on a little Sigma brush, a little blending brush, and work it around the nose for a little bit of a contour. I'm gonna put it underneath the nose as well, and a little bit under the lip here. Then I'm just blending it out with that same translucent powder brush. I didn't add any more powder to it. I'm just kind of making sure it's all blended out. So then we're gonna add a lot more warmth with this Milani bronzer that we've been using in the eyes. On the eyes, I guess I should say. I'm just gonna take that same brush that I used and I'm gonna take a little bit, tap off the extra, and just start to really lightly put this right over where we put the bronzer, especially on the forehead, because it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, like a gold reflex. So I really think it would be pretty kind of like on the cheeks a little bit and along the forehead. And I just like the idea of using this bronzer in the eyes too, because then it will pull the whole look together. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to go into my Physicians Formula Butter Blush. This has to be my favorite shade, I think, in this range of blushes so far. This is called Vintage Rouge. I'm just gonna take that on a blush brush. I want something a little bit more pink. I originally was gonna do something a little more muted, but when you add a, um, a blush that's too close in shade or too muted, like your bronzer, it will actually look muddy. So that's why I chose something a little bit brighter, even though this is a fall look and I would normally go for something softer. It would just make my bronzer look a little bit muddy if it was too similar in shade. So we're going with pink. So for highlighter, you guys, I've been so in love with this highlighter that you told me about, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I haven't stopped wearing it since I bought it. Like even off camera when I'm getting ready for the day, I choose this over my high-end highlighters these days. I don't know. I just really love how it looks more than a lot of my current highlighters. So I'm just going to pop this on the cheekbones. We're not going to be shy since this is a full glam. So I'm going to be adding a little bit more than usual. Just kind of layering it though until it's the right intensity for you. But man, this is a beautiful highlighter. I'm going to put it a little bit above my brows. Also down the center of my nose, Cupid bow, <laughs> a little on the chin. I do like a little bit on the chin these days. I don't know why. Some people don't, so you don't have to do that if you don't like it. Woo, look at that glow. 
Love it. Okay, so now we're just gonna take that highlighter on a little brush and we're gonna pop this in the inner corner of the eye. I think this is gorgeous in the inner corner as well. I've been doing that like every day too. And then taking what's left and just popping a little bit underneath the brows here. And actually, I'm gonna set the face right now before I put the um, false lashes on. So I'm gonna use the Kiss Pro Touch Makeup Setting Spray. This is the setting spray I used in my last video and that was the first time I had tried it and I've also been using this every day. I don't know, I really like it. I like the smell, I feel like it works nicely, so I'm gonna put this all over my face. Okay, so for the next part, I'm gonna do it off camera. I just feel like it's a little bit easier, but I'm going to be applying the Ardell Double Up Lashes. This one is cool because it comes with short and medium. Um, they're the Not Free Double Flares. I'm gonna be applying a few of these on the top lashes. Let me know if you'd like to see like a full dedicated video to applying individuals. This has been like what I like to do when I do wear false lashes. I typically do individuals. So let me know if you'd like to see a video on how I apply it because it's just gonna take too long for me to show you in a tutorial video. Um, but I'm just gonna really quickly pop these on and I will be right back. So I just finished putting on lashes. As you can see, it really helps kind of add that drama. There's a bug in here. Darn it. Is that a mosquito? No. Okay. So all we have now is to put on the lip color. This is my favorite part. It's gonna be pretty vampy, folks. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I've been loving these. This was in the shade Roseblood. I just think that's kind of a fun, I don't know, it's kind of like an eerie word. Oh, no, before I do that though, I'm gonna line the lips because this is dark. And I have a lip liner from L'Oreal as well. This is their Color Reach Matte Lip Liner in the shade 104, Curiosity Killed the Matte. Wow, with rose blood, that's pretty gory. Okay, um, but I'm just gonna first line the lips with this, and I'm gonna kind of fill in the lips as well with this, mainly filling in like the outside, something like that. Now I'm gonna pop on that rose blood liquid lipstick right on top. So I think I mentioned this in my last video with these liquid lipsticks, but I'll mention it again. They get really tacky, so I'm trying not to like touch them together too much while they dry because I just feel like it kind of messes them up when you do. I'm going back in with the lip liner where it needs to be touched up. So while my lips are drying, I'm just going to kind of fill in my eyebrows a little bit more because now that the look is done, I feel like they need a little structure. And now I'm pretty sure we're done with the makeup, so I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so that completes this look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my drugstore glam fall makeup tutorial. You know, that wing that I was unsure of, I feel like it actually it actually fits this look. It's very bold, very dramatic, very vampy, but you know what? When else can we do these kinds of looks except for fall? You know what I'm saying? So take advantage of it. Go a little more glam than you're used to this fall. It's really fun. So anyways, I hope you guys like this look. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, I'm open to any suggestions for fall. Let me know what palettes you want me to use. Let me know if there's more drugstore items that you want me to try out or that you love that you could recommend to me because the highlighter I'm so obsessed with you already know so give me some recommendations I'm always open to trying new makeup so yeah with that being said I hope you guys have a fabulous day I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video love you bye